Expecting nightly sports call, Mitch Walsh alongside Paul Zeiss. And now it's our Ruth Chris sizzling shot. We got another one. And we got another one from Edgewood Country Club. You got a bunch of snipers over there. Second lady, second day, consecutive day, a lady had a hole in one. This time, Dina Yates, number 12. You remember 12, Paul. Uh, it's a little uphill, par three. Plays 112 yards. It for goes the like over to the road. It goes towards the road. It goes yeah. towards the road. And then yeah, you and if you hit the front, it rolls off. It's a Donald yeah. Ross course. 13, you go across the, and then across you the have road. to go across the road. Yeah, I know so, exactly which one it is. Yeah, number 12, right. 112 yards. She hold it out with the three wood. So congratulations to Dina Yates, uh, second consecutive Wait, it's hole in one. It's like 160 from the men's tees. Well, for the men's tees, it could it could push back to 170, yeah, play like, 180 or 90, yes. depending on what tees you. When it's playing, 170, 180, that's a big boy shot. Yeah, up the hill. Um, if the pin's in the back, yeah. Sometimes you got to use um you to use a five iron for that one. But yeah. so congratulations to her, Dina Yates tonight. It was uh, um, Charlene York yesterday. So. Uh, it was a good club championship for the women out at Edgewood Country Club. And also, I want to give a shout-out to the Edgewood Country Club senior team that won the West Penn Senior League Championship at Butler oh, Country Club. Yeah, I was going to say, too, if you hit it too far and you're on the green but above the hole. Oh, it's a disaster, a especially with the back pin. That can be a miserable yeah. putt. <laughs> All right, we only have about a minute. Let's get out to Larry real quick out in North Huntington. How you doing, Larry? Hello there. I was wondering if you would consider – Offering $21 million for three years from McCutcheon as a free agent. No way. We'll not consider it. I, I mean. Three years, $7 million a year? Yeah. You would consider it? $7 million a year? Yeah, but don't you think he's kind of past his prime right now? I mean, I, I think, think you want to get I younger. I think for seven gonna... million a year. Yeah, but who's going to? Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Are you better off with him in left field or Jordan Lupo? Well, Andrew McCutcheon in left okay, field, no that's question what I'm about saying. it. So, I mean, but he's not going to sign three years, $21 million. He might. Well, I mean, you know what I mean? I would offer, I, honestly, I would offer him some sort of a deal low like that because you saw what happened with free agency this year. I mean, what did Neil Walker sign for, $2 million or yeah. something? I would offer him, a, hey, listen, you know, we don't have a lot of money here, this and that and everything. Here's three years, $20 million. Three years, $19 million. And the thing and is, he'd be he, backing up Corey Dickerson. No, you get rid of Dickerson. Well, That's what I'm saying. If you could get him for cheap, idea. you know what I mean? Why not? All right. Well, we got to take a break. Back to wrap things up. Coming up next. Stay right there.